Okay, in this video, I'm going to do something a little bit different, something that I also did with the Samsung Galaxy Nexus phone. I'm going to show you the stock wallpapers on the Asus ePad Transformer Prime. Now, right now, I have a static wallpaper here, and I'm going to show you all the different static wallpapers and the live wallpapers on this device. So I'm just going to long press here, and I'm going to go to Wallpapers. Now this is the first one selected here, but you also have an option for this one, and this is more of a gold, it's a little more lively version. I actually prefer it as far as all the static wallpapers on this device. I like it, and it actually pops on this background too when I make these videos. So I really like this background. Let's go to the next one, which is actually a night scene. And typically I wouldn't be using something like this because I don't really want to look at a night scene but it's an option for you if you like it. The next selection here is what looks like a winter scene here, or at least a uh, yeah, winter scene. That's actually pretty cool. The tree doesn't have any leaves on it and there's a lot of snow on the ground. Let's check the next one. The next one looks like a fall day because there's no leaves on the trees there and uh, there's no snow on the ground. So that's interesting there. The next one is similar to the first one, but it looks like a lot of green grass here, and it looks like a closer view. And let's see, now we get into some more patterns here. And that is a bluish purple background here. And these are actually the Nexus backgrounds, or the ice cream sandwich backgrounds here. These look very familiar. This is a uh, purple and orange look. It's actually the Ubuntu colors, but it's not Ubuntu. The next one is that Southwest Sandstone Cave. Looks like the Southwest of the United States. Now this is the characteristic Nexus background on the Samsung Galaxy Nexus the static background that comes default on that device. Then you have this asymmetrical little blocks, these uh, gray blocks here. Some are 2D, some are 3D. And this one is a green with different bars going up and down. Then again, the Ubuntu colors, sort of that purple and orange even though it's not officially Ubuntu. And Ubuntu, strangely enough, just announced at CES that they're going to be coming out with their own tablet. So that should be pretty interesting. This one's actually pretty cool. You have some spheres and some lines, and it's more of a grayish-blue color. And here is a leaf, very green. I actually like this background a lot. And we only have a couple more. This one here, you have some greens and some purples. It looks like you have some V's going on there. A little too dark for my liking. And the last one is an explosion of shapes. And there's orange here. And some greens. Pretty cool. And I think that's it for the regular wallpapers here, the static wallpapers. So a mixture of the Asus wallpapers, which are these trees here, and the ice cream sandwich wallpapers, which are this wallpaper all the way to the end here. So let's go to the live wallpapers next and see what it has to offer. Now the first one here is Asus Day Scene and that's very similar to their tree backgrounds, but this is a live wallpaper. And it's not necessarily a wallpaper that you can actually see in motion, but it does correspond to the time of day that you're using it. So right now it's nighttime, so you see a nighttime scene here, you see stars in the sky, the darkened tree, the silhouette, and a little bit of sunlight over the horizon there. Let's see if I can actually get into the settings here. So it says here, display, display mode, uh, display mode, timeline mode, which is what we're in, slideshow mode, or wallpaper mode. So you can change this up if you want. And uh, we're just going to keep it on the timeline mode there. 
and back out of it and just set the wallpaper so you can see what it looks like. All right, let's try the next one. The next one is Asus My Water 2. Now this one is a live wallpaper that actually is in motion. And this one I believe can correspond to the daylight as well. Right now you see a day scene, you see a killer whale swimming by, or a killer whale or an orca, uh, and you can actually interact with the wallpaper by pressing and it gives more bubbles. So let's set the wallpaper here. And there you go. Let's go back and check out the settings on that. And let's see. You have an animation effect, the 3D picture mode, day, night mode. So let's see what night mode looks like. Or actually, let's put it in day, night mode because then it should show up as night because right now when I'm filming this, it's night. And set the wallpaper. And there you go, you get a night scene now. But you can still interact with it and put bubbles on the screen there. Let's see what the next one is. Asus My Water. Now this is the original one that appeared on the original Asus Transformer tablet. And this one you can actually interact with, but I'll show you that in a second. Let's actually look at the settings here. And it says enable water rotation. Okay. Let's set this wallpaper. And this one makes it look like you have actual water in your tablet because it actually corresponds to the accelerometer in the device itself. So if you tilt it, the water tilts just as it would if it was filled halfway with water. Let's see what else is left here. We have black hole wallpaper. And let's set that wallpaper. And it looks like a doesn't look really like a black hole, it looks more like a galaxy, a very bright ga galaxy. So I don't know why they call it a black hole, but it's pretty. Can't really interact with it, it doesn't seem. But it is spinning. Let's check the next one. Grass. Now this one... Okay, it looks like it's actually going to correspond with the daylight as well, the actual time. So as you saw when it first started up, you saw the blades of grass as it would be in the daylight. And now it's at nighttime because, again, I'm filming this at night. And you see some fireflies. If you try and touch a firefly, they fly away. And that's how you interact with this wallpaper. And the next one here is the Hollow Spiral. Now this one is actually a wallpaper that has been on honeycomb tablets before. If you have seen a Motorola Zoom or have owned a Motorola Zoom, this should look familiar. It's pretty much a very bluish purple background with these spheres spiraling and moving. Now the last live wallpaper here is a maps live wallpaper and that would show my specific location so I'm not going to turn that on. But those are the stock wallpapers on the Asus ePad Transformer Prime. If you want to know more about this tablet I have a lot of videos up and just click on the link at the end of this video to watch another video on this device. So that pretty much does it for this video. I'll see you guys next time.